So finally for the master plan I'm going to cover the task of configuring the master plan tab itself. Now if you look over here the time I've allocated to this is 25, sorry, 0.25 of an hour i.e. 15 minutes. So it's a very short task. In fact it probably won't even take you that amount of time. It'll take you as long to watch this video as it will to do the configuration. Normally when you're configuring tabs there's two things you do. You change the tasks, the items of the tasks on the tab itself and you change the time frames here. In fact for the master plan you do neither of those so there isn't really anything to do. Uh, the master plan you follow what it says on here that's the point of this one but there's things you might want to change so I've just put that in as, as uh, an activity to do. You might want to change these these contingency times so my recommendation is the first the, for the first project you do you either leave those alone or you make them bigger don't make them smaller and when you gain some experience on using the system you might want to adjust these times at that point but but the first time around don't adjust these times I would leave them as they are these hours here the two hours for the configuration is my best estimate as to how long it will take you if you spend more than a lot more than two hours you're probably going into too much detail too early on if you spend less than two hours you're probably not thinking in enough detail early on so that's roughly a reasonable estimate for how long that those should take you so again, I would leave those time frames as they are to begin with and only adjust them on your second and subsequent project. And that's it. There is very, There really isn't anything to do on configuring the master plan. With this one, you just follow the instructions. So that's it. That's the end of the guidance for the master plan. Thanks for your time.